Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and today I have a really fun DIY tutorial for you. We're going to be making pop-up cards. This project is a fun, unique way to give thanks to someone. You can use this card as a gift for Mother's Day or simply a neighbor or delivery person. For this video, I am creating a tropical theme pop-up card for my mom because I know that is something she would really like. While you are designing your card, think about who it is for and be creative. For materials, you'll need a couple different colored pieces of paper, some scissors, glue and or tape, a ruler, and some coloring utensils. First, grab the paper that you want to be inside of your card and fold that in half. Next, you're going to actually cut a slit in the center of the paper. This doesn't have to be precise, but it's about an inch wide. After you do that, you're going to fold that tab inwards and press down. This creates the pop-up part of your card. Next, you're going to grab the paper that you want to be on the outside of your card and fold that in half. This step is optional, but what I'm going to do is cut about a millimeter off each side of my white piece of paper so it creates a border when I open up my card. Next, you're going to take your two pieces of paper and glue them together to make your card. Make sure when you're doing this that your tab is folded inward so you don't accidentally glue it down. Now it's time to decorate. This is your chance to personalize your card. There's a variety of ways to do this. I'm personally just drawing out different things and cutting them out. But you can also grab images from magazines or use your own photos. Here I'm cutting out a drawing of a rainbow and this is what's going to pop up when I open my card. I'm going to use a piece of tape to secure the rainbow to the tab. You can also use glue to do this. Make sure your image is lined up with your tab so it closes nicely. Now to decorate the inside and outside of the card. I'm going to be making pineapples and hibiscus flowers. <music> Lastly, a personal and meaningful note to the person this card is for. This can be encouraging, funny, just make it you. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. I hope it was super fun and encourages you to make something thoughtful for someone. Look forward to even more crafty tutorials with me, Jessica. Be sure to tag us if you made a card. I would love to see it. Okay, until next time.